Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 super useful iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user needs to have on their device in 2022. Now, before we get into the apps, another thing you need to do right now is subscribe to this channel. Now, most of you guys that actually watch my videos are not currently subscribed, so make sure you do that. And of course, leave a like on this video as it really helps out a lot. Now, we're starting things off with X Reload. This is actually an extension that you can install for Safari on iOS 15 and it allows you to quickly reload all of the tabs that you have currently open on Safari. Most of the time, of course, we will have a bunch of tabs open on Safari, and this extension will make it super easy for you to reload all of them at the same time. All you have to do after you have installed the extension is just tap on the AA button right there and tab here, reload all tabs. And just like that, all of the tabs that you have opened on Safari will reload at the same time. The next app for the video is called Time Link. Now, this is an app that has a pretty cool feature which allows you to share YouTube videos, but the video will start at the exact time you want to. So, let's say I want to send this video to someone, but I don't want it to start from the beginning when they get that. Let's say I want, to, want it to start from 2 minutes and 10 seconds. That's the point of the video where something is interesting or I just want to share that certain part of the video with someone. All I got to do is tap the share button on YouTube tap on more and if you don't see time link right here on the list just make sure you tap on more and enable it tap on time link and from here you can set the minutes so two minutes and let's say here 10 seconds send to friend and from here what you got to do is just go ahead and copy the link or you can send it on iMessage or anywhere else so let's just copy it and from here I can go to Safari and just paste this link paste and go just like that and you will see now the video starts exactly at 2 minutes and 10 seconds that's super super useful anytime you want to share something particular on a video from YouTube. The next app for the video is called Video in Picture in Picture and this one allows you to play any video that you want on your iPhone in the picture in picture mode. Whether that be from a link from your browser, from YouTube or any video that you have on your photo library or any video that you have on your files. All you have to do is just open the app, paste the link here if you want to or just go ahead and browse your library. Once you choose the video that you want to play, it will show like this. You can go out of the app and you can see you have the video right there playing in the picture in picture mode this is super useful any video you want again from any link or from safari or from your photos library any video can be played on the picture in picture mode the next app is called splashy now this is a wallpaper app with some super useful features it allows you to set automatic wallpapers on your device now the way this works is of course through a shortcut that it will install from this app so once you install the app it will show you the instructions to install that shortcut you can install it from the app here and you can basically have automated wallpapers from this app so here i have the current wallpaper again this is from the app as well so if i open one of the wallpapers here i don't have to go to the photo library or save this wallpaper to set it as the home screen on my device i just tap right there and in a couple of seconds right there we have a new wallpaper for our home screen just like that you can see we have a new wallpaper now the cool thing about this wallpaper is that it allows you to actually set an automation which will make your wallpapers change automatically at any time of the day that you choose now, you can see right here it has a bunch of really cool wallpapers you can go to different categories right here and find really really nice wallpapers for your device now if you go to the shortcuts app you can go to automations right here and create a personal automation and right here go to time of the day and you can choose the time of the day where you want to change the wallpaper automatically with this app so tap on next right here and go to add action and search for run shortcut so just like that select run shortcut tap right there and pick the shortcut that you have saved from this app it will be this one set new wallpaper tap on the next button disable this and just like that, you have created an automation that will pick a random wallpaper from this app and automatically change it on your home screen. Next up is Juice Watch. Now, Juice Watch is a must have app if you own an Apple Watch. Now, you can install this, of course, on your iPhone and also on your Apple Watch. Now, basically, it will tell you the percentage of battery that you have on your iPhone 
on your Apple Watch right here, you can add a compilation right there on the watch face. And of course, it will also tell you on your iPhone the percentage of battery that you have currently on your Apple Watch. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can also enable notifications for when the a watch is charged. So if you leave your watch to charge, you don't have to take a look at it to see if it's charged or not, you can enable or write here a notification. You can do the same for the phone here or for low battery. You can do basically the same for the Apple Watch and the iPhone and get notifications on your watch and on your iPhone for each of the devices when the battery is low or when the battery is charged. The next app for the video is called Goals. Now, Goals is a pretty useful app as it allows you to, to actually set goals that you want to maybe achieve. And of course, from here, you can go ahead and add basically the amount of money that you will need for that goal, whether that be maybe a car or a house or anything that you want to buy in the future. You can set, of course, that goal from here. So tap right there on the three dots and from here add a goal you can enter the name of the goal right here and from here what you need to do is go ahead and customize this you can add any different color you want you can add any like a little icon here or even add an image there as the background and set the amount of money that you need for that goal tap on save and you will have your goals right here when you add money towards that goal, you tap here. And of course you can enter that just like that. And of course you can even add a home screen widget for any of your goals. So if you have a bunch of goals, of course you can always tap and hold on any of these widgets. And from here, choose which goal you want to actually preview right here on the home screen. And it actually looks pretty cool. And you will have a glimpse at your goal all the time of course when you add something and see how close you're to achieving your goal the next app for the video is tantum now this is probably the only countdown app you need on your device it allows you to add different events for days until that event so here i have one 29 days until that event but you will also have days since so if an event has passed you can add it here if it's really important and you need to know how many days have passed since that event you can add it here on this tab and then of course it will show right here so you have one Jan january 3 so is of course 23 days since then and here we have another one days until february 24th 29 days until that date pretty simple to use and of course very very useful smart screenshot is the next app for the video it allows you to easily share screenshots with a link so you take a screenshot tap and hold right there all you gotta do is tap on smart screenshot and it will automatically upload the screenshot for you then of course we'll give you a link here which you can use to share that screenshot anywhere you want on the internet just like that tap on ok and now you have a link and that screenshot has actually been uploaded so you can see right here we can paste and go and here we have the screenshot just like that you can share it anywhere you want without you having to actually upload it manually anywhere the next app for the video is called split now this one allows to easily split videos into different parts so let's say you want to send the video you have a longer video you want to send it through a maybe messaging app or something like that that you cannot send a long video you can just select the video from your photo library click on choose right here and then choose basically into how many seconds you want to split the video tap on split so here we have three seconds and just like that it has saved four parts of this video each can basically each lasting three seconds and just like that you will have four different videos separated so you can easier share them anywhere you want and last but not least is text on photos now ios actually offers a way to add text on photos but this app is just super useful it has a bunch of different like layouts that you can choose from here and add them to any of your photos now all you gotta do is just load a photo from your library and once you have added the photo you can see right here we'll have a bunch of different styling here to add to the to the photo actually so let's just choose one of them you tap right there and then of course you can go ahead and edit the text enter any text you want and you will have a bunch of different tools here to add shadows change the template or just go ahead and change the color of the text that you have added on that photo this is super useful if you want to share something on the internet on your social media maybe a quote or something like that this will be super useful the app is totally free free to download and free to use as well and it is very very simple to create these amazing pictures
So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, of course, hopefully you enjoyed the apps. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.